Willie D Live. What's up, family? Well, well, well. The gunman who shot Donald Trump, your president, at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, has been identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks, a registered Republican. What do y'all think about that? Anybody surprised? You know, a lot of you were saying that that shooting was staged. What do you think now? I think there could be some credence. Listen, fam, I know it sounds crazy, but crazier things have happened in these United Snakes of America. Yeah, fam, you just never, never know. This really reminds me of JFK. There was a lot of people involved in the conspiracy to kill JFK, but it came down to a patsy. Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald. They try to make it seem like this is just one man pulled this off. But remember, Lee Harvey Oswald, after being identified, was killed as he was taking a perp walk at the police station by a gangster. How did he get that close? You know, and they never talked about what became of the gangster, right? They kind of just tackled the guy and you, you, you never heard anything else about him. How many people think this guy acted alone? I would not be surprised. I mean, this, 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 this stuff is all over the place. It's hard to really know what's really going on. Now check this out, family. This is the cold part. This is the part that makes me very suspicious. An eyewitness in an interview with BBC said, he saw a man armed with a rifle crawling up a roof near the event. The person said he and the people he was with started pointing at the man, trying to alert security. So let me get this straight. An eyewitness and the people he was with said they told Secret Service a man with a rifle is at the rally climbing a rooftop. Did I say it was a rally? A presidential rally? Donald Trump? And Secret Service didn't act immediately? He still got off the shots before they killed him. And then there was a report where Secret Service admitted, where law enforcement admitted that Secret Service was notified and they was told to keep a watchful eye on this guy. They was just told to watch him. He got a Come on, family. Come on, fam. Come on. I don't know about you, but it sounds staged to me. It sounds staged. The only part I cannot wrap my head around is Donald Trump agreeing. If it was staged, Donald Trump absolutely did not agree. If it was staged and Donald Trump was injured, like really injured, ain't no way he would have agreed to that. Donald Trump is a coward. The dude dodged the draft five times in the country he so loves. He wrapped the flag around his body, clenching it, but holding on for dear life. He wouldn't even fight for this country, but he's going to fight for you. He's going to protect you. He wouldn't even protect the country that he loves so much that he gets so much privilege from. The only reason why he became the president of the United States of America is because he's privileged and he's white. I'm talking about privilege with money, popularity, influence, 
and he's white, period. He's not a smart person at all. He's not a unifier. His job is to divide and conquer, and not just along racial lines, along political lines, along personal lines, along business lines. This dude, he divides and he conquers. So, and why do he want to conquer? Because he want that money. His thing is that he trying to get to the paper, first and foremost, but he also wants to be a dictator. He really wants his own parade. I mean, really wants his own parade. So he figured like, hey man, all I gotta do is get a whole bunch of dummies to get down for me and boom, I'm straight in the dope. They have no idea what I have in store for their dumb asses. Yeah, fam, I do believe now after I'm looking at everything, I believe that there's a great chance that this whole thing was staged, but I don't believe that Donald Trump agreed to it if he was indeed injured. Now, if he had some type of blood pack, you know, whereas, you know, he was told to, you know, grab your arm, grab, you know, grab your ear, you know, just when you hear the shots, you know, slap it against your ear and then it's going to bust. And then it's going to look like you got shot in the ear. And then we're going to run it. Now, what we want to see now is evidence of the injury. Because you know, if there was evidence of the injury, if, we, if there was something there, there was some tissue that was removed by the bullet fragments, you know Donald Trump would show it off. You know he would show it off. So we want to see that. We got to see some proof. Because right now, I don't believe you. The big question is, why would Donald Trump and other individuals stage a fake assassination? Simple, to get sympathy points. Yeah, let's show them that, you know, how valuable I am, that somebody would really wanna kill me because I have the answer to unite America. I have the answer to make America great again. And they don't want that to happen. So they're gonna try to kill me. They want, they'll go as far as to kill me. That's how important I am. Yeah. And then of course, the other angle would be trying to kick off a civil war. Because you know, a lot of his supporters, they have expressed their desire for civil conflict. So I wouldn't be surprised either way. You just never know. Once you have a dude who's running for president in a major, major country, and he's got 34 felonies, he's tried to overthrow the government, he's been accused of multiple sexual assaults against women, uh, found liable civilly for at least one. You got to think to yourself, family, how is it even possible that he's a front runner? How is it possible that he is the Republican nominee how how is he is it possible that he is a, a major party's nominee to be president of the united states how drop a comment family i'd love to hear your thoughts no more talk